Okay, I have a new weird little DC motor that I've built. This one runs kind of like my Ford coil tattoo machines operate. It's using an A-bar that's pulled across on the side instead of straight above because it gives you better use of your coils. And I've developed this little motor that um, uses that and it looks like an antique. It's really cool. What I'm going to do with it, I'm going to have this where it operates kind of like a Ferris wheel type deal on my tattoo machines right on it. There's going to be a little pulley mounted here and a belt and it'll go to a gearbox and there'll be a big Ferris wheel and the tattoo machines will ride in it. And it'll be cool, you know, if I can get it all together. But this is the first part. It's got a little oil can. You can oil it. And I need to add another oiler here and probably some down here on the lower unions. Um, got it set at about 4 volts. Let's fire it off. And, of course, it's not self-starting. These type motors aren't. Let's see if it's going to go. Uh, may. There it goes. Okay. Let it sit here and run and get up to speed. Okay, and there it is at 4 volts. Now I'm going to rotate it around and let you look at all the workings of it. This has got a really sleek frame on this one. I really like this motor. This is my favorite motor that I've built, I think. And I'm keeping this one. This one's not for sale. I don't want to get rid of it. This is mine. And like I said, I'm going to use it to run my new tattoo machine display. And this will give you a better view of the um, actual mechanical part. I'll stop it and let you check it out. Alright, we've got a cam built directly on the crankshaft right here. Try to pointer this pencil. Alright, I got little bronze bushings pressed in here. Here's the crankshaft, little 1 8 hardened pins, um, little connecting rod. There's a set of points right here. Whenever this cam gets it just right there, it lets the points contact, turning the coils on, of course, pulling the A bar over to them and that's how it runs oh come on there it goes um of course fine-tuning these points can make a big difference in performance it doesn't seem to want to um there it goes let's mess with the points a little maybe it needs that if you're not real careful though you'll lock it up Eh, that's pretty good right there. I'm not going to throw it anymore. But, um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me rotate this thing around that you have this top view of it here. It's engine number 55. I like this one. And that's about it. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my newest cool little engine. Thanks for watching.